tracing and testing, two areas about which the governor says he's received a lot of questions from parents. He's asked districts to post those specific plans separately so parents can access them easily. Kayla Green talked to Bishop Carney, a local private school, about their approach to these two areas. She joins us now live in front of the school. Kayla, what did you learn? Adam, these are definitely two areas that different districts and schools are taking different approaches on. And the president here at Bishop Kearney tells me part of their plan around these two areas involves a partnership with Rochester Regional Health Immediate Care. He says other parts of the plan will include guidance from the Monroe County Health Department. We'd be crazy to not be worried about it. Steve Saluzzo is the president of Bishop Kearney. He says he's confident in the school's reopening plan, but of course he has his concerns. Being worried about it means that we're aware of it, and being aware of it means that we're putting together a good plan to be proactive in our approach. Bishop Kearney will be requiring students, faculty, and staff to complete an online health screening each morning. If they pass, they're cleared to come to school. They'll also be doing temperature checks at the door each morning. If a student has symptoms during the school day, they'll be sent to the COVID-19 isolation room. Uh, we'll contact the parents uh, of that student to come, and then again, we'll, we'll put into action our plan with uh, Rochester Regional Immediate Care to get those families uh, checked out right away. From there, we'll, we'll, we'll have an opportunity for those students that were near that particular student to um, uh, reach out to their parents and, and really go through that process. If the symptomatic student gets tested and ends up being positive, the school will contact the Monroe County Health Department to help with tracing. This is also where the online screening tool will be helpful. Having that uh, in a database will allow us the opportunity to, um, if we were to have a case on campus, have the data and get it turned over to the Monroe County Health Department so they could do their contact tracing. And we'll be able to match that up with our class schedule so we know who's been in the building, what visitors may have been here, if we have any on that particular day, uh, where the students are, where our faculty members are. Bishop Kearney is unique from some other local schools because they do have some students living on campus. The president tells me that they'll have students coming in from other states and even a few other countries. He says those students will be required to quarantine for two weeks here in New York State before they can actually move on to the campus. And he says they'll also be required to get tested and show that negative result also before moving on to campus. Live in Arondequoit, Kayla Green, News 8.